this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps. And in today's video, um, I'd like to highlight seven tips that I believe um, you need to know if you want to become a top modern JavaScript developer in 2016. Okay, so the first one, at a minimum, you must know jQuery. I know some people might scream at me and be saying jQuery is no longer needed, but um, from my experience in day-to-day -day programming, jQuery is still essential. Even if you're starting a new project and you don't need jQuery, most likely, if you're maintaining an old JavaScript project, jQuery is still there. So would you go out, out and rip out all the jQuery just for the sake of, um, I don't need it? No, it would be wise to continue knowing it. So, and most of the time when you have a job, you'll be maintaining applications and um, not writing new ones. I'm not saying there are not new apps being built, but there's a lot of old apps there still using jQuery. And on the flip side as well, know um, the regular JavaScript, like the normal JavaScript are being used without jQuery. Um, browsers are very good these days um, of running modern JavaScript. So um, know when to use jQuery or um, just regular old JavaScript, okay? So number two, know when you need a uh, modern jQuery. And what I mean by that is um, there's lots of frameworks out there. There's Ember.js and then there's um, Angular, um, io which is angular 2 so some just being in the, the mode of knowing when jquery is too little for a project so because these days um in modern web development there's something called single page applications and building those with jquery is not recommended not that it's impossible but that's not what jquery was meant for so know when you need something much more powerful and capable um, than jquery Okay, there's tons of them out there. There's Ember.js, AngularJS, Backbone.js, which is a bit old, but it's still a capable candidate. There's React, which is the new kid on the block. Not so much new, but um, still fairly new compared to Angular and Ember. Okay, so number three, know a build tool. Okay, so these days, um, what I talked about in number two, like using frameworks like Ember, Angular, React, you must understand what build tools are and build tools are what you have been hearing all around the web if you've been alive for the past 10 years stuff like npa i'm uh, sorry um gulp grunt and webpack those are um the three uh build tools uh, top ones right now that i am aware of there are more like jspm system js um, i can go on and on and on but the ones that i keep coming across all the time are um, grunt gulp and webpack okay so understand at least one of them you don't have to know all i mean if you know all the better for you that bit you are more marketable but um at least knowing one and most of the time if you know one you can learn the other pretty quickly but just being aware of that is a very positive thing okay so number four understanding javascript package managers okay so there are two main players in the field right now um package managers are in the name of npm which is a node uh, package manager and bower which is also a package manager um, that used to be the de facto but it seems like now npm is um pulling in a lot of um of its weight okay so those two npm and bower are the two main players in the field right now for package management on the front end and so it will be very nice to um, know how to use those so that you can easily get in packages into your project so number five um, be aware of the progression from ES5 to ES6. And ES5 is um, the JavaScript that you've been using since the good old jQuery days. And um, there's something called ES6. It is still JavaScript, but um, it is a more advanced version of JavaScript and it's newer. It is not yet fully supported by browsers like Firefox and Google Chrome. So you still need stuff like um, Babel, JS, um, I just did a video on that, which I will upload. If not, I've already uploaded it on how to um, use Babel to enable you to use um, the latest JavaScript in your current projects. Um, so you don't have to use JavaScript um, 2015, which is the same as ES6. But obviously, if that's the latest JavaScript, it will still soon become the de facto standard JavaScript. So just knowing that that progression is happening, um, when you're starting a new project, I will um, advise to use ES6 um, as opposed to ES5, okay? Just so you're on the same trend as everyone else, all right? So number six, this one I don't even have to say, but um, just as a friendly reminder, master the core JavaScript language. 
there's all these frameworks that can abstract all these functionalities away from you but there will be that corner case wherein you need to dive deep inside and um, do some debugging and that's where your knowledge of the javascript language will come in handy so go to a website like javascript.com or mdn and um, just do some um, quick crash courses on javascript so that you at least know the language without any framework without any build tools and without anything just open up your console and then start typing away at javascript okay so number seven subscribe to uh, multiple newsletters all right maybe you can start out with one or two um there's many there's html5 weekly there is um another one called react weekly i'll just type that in google right now um uh, basically these when you subscribe to them they send you an email like once a day or once a week depending on um, your settings and um yeah so they help you keep up with the latest trends and the um, changes going on in uh, current ecosystems in HTML5 and React respectively. And also listen to podcasts if you um, are that type of person. You don't have to um, subscribe to these newsletters if you don't do a lot of reading. Um, it's pretty much the same. Podcasts will update you on what's going on and what you need to keep an eye out for um, to help yourself become um, hireable and stuff like that and more productive in the web development field as well okay and um yeah so this is related to javascript but these points could pretty much uh, many of them could be applied to uh, web development in general okay so that brings us uh, to the end of this video so there you have it um top seven tips or tricks that you need to know to um, be a top modern javascript developer in 2016 and um please let me know what your um, thoughts are in the comments below i'd love to hear what everyone else thinks and if there's anything that i might have missed and uh, thank you for watching i will see you soon cheers bye bye